Hi there. Um, I hope you'll forgive me because when I read children's books, I tend to kind of go into that, you know, reading to children mode, so don't take it personally. It's just the way that I read. <laughs> um, the book that I chose was um, Tango Makes Three. Uh, Tango Makes Three um, is about an untrad untraditional family, and I was raised in an untraditional family. Um, I was raised by a single father, my brother and I, and in a time when fathers did not raise their children, especially daughters, on their own. So um, this has special meaning to me because it is about non-traditional families. So um, a little bit of background about the book. It's a true story about two male penguins, two male chinstrap penguins in the New York City Central Park Zoo who um, were a couple. Um, they demonstrated uh, affection for each other, and they were inseparable for a long time. Um, and then what happened, I'll find out. <laughs> In the zoo, there are all kinds of animal families, but Tango's family is not like any of the others. In the middle of New York City, there's a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail the boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Best of all, it has its very own zoo. Everyday families of all <laughs> kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers, and furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families, and cotton-topped tamarind families, too. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year, at the same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins, and the boy penguins start noticing the girl penguins. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy, and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other, and they walked together, they sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Sila went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins, and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Sila wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsci, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Sila watched how the other penguins made a home so they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something that they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch, and there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and sat and sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept. And when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock. But nothing happened. Then Mr. Gramsci got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day they turned it so each side stayed warm. Some days, Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days, it 
the silos turned to take care of their egg. They sat in the morning, they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month, and they sat at the end of the month, and they sat all of the days in between. Until one day they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Beep, 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 it said. Roy and Silo called back. Squawk, squawk! Beep, beep, answered the egg. Suddenly a tiny hole appeared in the egg shell. And then, crack, out came the very old baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Gramsley decided, because it takes two to make a tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Soon, Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango! They cheered. At night, the three penguins returned to their nest. They snuggled each other, and like all the other penguins in the penguin house, and all the other animals in the zoo, and all the other families in the big city around them, they went to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> the other reason I chose this book is because I, I feel that the people who love you are your family. Um, your parents, your friends, your grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins. It's, it's what makes a family. Is you make a family. And that there's all kinds of love in a family and there's rooms for all kinds of love. So. Thank you.